It is July 6, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. One of the most profound quotes about the JavaScript ecosystem comes from an old British guy who said, Out of intense complexities, intense simplicities emerge. At the time, nobody knew what the hell he was talking about, but in 2022, it's clear he was prophesizing the rise of a new JavaScript runtime called Bun. That's right, you no longer need Node.js or Dino, so go ahead and uninstall those from your system right now. Bun just announced its first beta release, and makes the claim that it's significantly faster than Node or Dino. Not just a little bit faster, but orders of magnitude faster. It's always a good idea to be skeptical about benchmarks provided by the creator of a tool, but as you can see here, it's about three times faster when server rendering React Act, running database queries, or executing native code with foreign functions. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. But what I'm more excited about is what this tool can do to simplify your life as a developer. We'll get into that in just a minute, but first I know my mom is going to ask me what a JavaScript runtime is in the first place. You can think of JavaScript like gasoline. It's dangerous and bad for the environment, and by itself isn't very useful. To make JavaScript or gasoline useful, it needs to run through an engine to convert it into raw energy or machine code for a CPU. The most popular JavaScript engine is Google's V8, which powers Chrome, Node, and Dino, and makes JavaScript execution extremely fast with just-in-time comp Population. Now, gasoline combined with an engine still isn't very useful. The average person wants that engine in a car with user-friendly APIs like wheels, file system access, subwoofers, web sockets, automatic transmission, and so on. A JavaScript runtime is a complete car. All you have to do is put a little bit of JavaScript in the tank, and it will take you anywhere you want to go. Now that we're done with that ridiculous analogy, let's talk about what makes Bun special. A big one is obviously performance, but how does it actually go so fast? Well, first of all, it doesn't use the V8 engine, but instead uses JavaScript core from WebKit, which is generally considered to be faster but more difficult to work with. In addition, it's written in a low-level programming language called Zig. This is a relatively new language that's similar to C or Rust, and the creators of Bun say the lack of hidden control flow makes it much simpler to write fast software. It's fun to go fast, but more importantly, Bun is an all-in-one runtime. It has a native bundler to replace tools like Webpack, and also has a native transpiler so you can write TypeScript code out of the box, with cool features like top-level await, an idea that's already been pioneered by Dino, but Bun will also transpile your JSX files. Also like Dino, it prioritizes web APIs like Fetch, while at the same time also supporting many Node core modules, as well as Node API, which will allow many NPM packages to also work in Bun. In fact, it implements Node's module resolution algorithm, which means you can install packages from NPM into Bun, and those packages install 20 times faster. It feels like magic. Another nice ergonomic feature is that environment variables load automatically. It's not like Node.js, where you have to install .env into every project. It also comes with its own test runner similar to Jest, and as you might imagine, it's fast. Some might even call it blazingly fast. Sounds awesome, but keep in mind this project is in its infancy. There will be bugs. If you're on Windows, you'll have to use WSL, and even that gave me some issues. But overall, my final analysis on Bun is that this thing is bussin', no cap, for real. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.